What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech, more reviews. And this time, we're going to be talking about something that a lot of you guys have been asking me. A couple of questions about the use of Scribble and different applications. So today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the best applications that work with Scribble and the ones that don't. So let's check them out. So the first question that I actually got a lot was, will Scribble work with the actual third party stylus devices or the Logitech Crayon? Now, I was automatically leaning towards, yeah, it'll work. But I wanted to show you guys because a lot of people had those questions. So here we go. Now, if you remember when you're using the actual Logitech Crayon, you cannot have your Apple Pencil connected. So we're gonna turn that off and then we're actually gonna turn on our Logitech Pencil, just like so. Once the Logitech Pencil is on, we're gonna verify that it's working and then we are good to go. So what you actually want to use Scribble with this pencil, you're gonna just tap on Notes. Once you're in Notes, you're gonna make sure that the Scribble function is actually on. Once that's on, you're going to start to write. This is how Scribble works with a third There we go. And Scribble actually picks up everything that we need. Now, notice if you actually start to, um, if you wanna use some of those functionalities such as delete a word, or even just highlight a phrase, Scribble still works with no problem. So you don't have to worry about uh, these third-party devices not working with Scribble. So we got that question answered. It's out of the way. We can put this one to the side. Now, we're gonna connect the Apple Pencil right back to our device. And once it is connected, we will get started with our testing of different applications. So if you look at your applications, a lot of people wanted to know, will this thing work with Microsoft Word? Now, I will tell you that I'm a big fan of Microsoft Word, been using this thing since the 90s or whatever. But what you really wanna know is, will Scribble work in this environment? Now, right here I have a document, it's wide open, and we're going to actually be focusing on, is Scribble going to work while I'm writing? So I'm just gonna start writing. So Scribble is not picking up any of this writing that I'm doing. If you notice, it, all the words are just still right here, I'm drawing lines through everything, and we're still not getting anywhere with Scribble. So Microsoft Word is probably gonna be one of those that will just not work right now. Maybe they have something in the future that will help you out in that aspect. But right now, Microsoft Word is not gonna function using Scribble. So the next application we want to move on to is going to be one of my favorites, Evernote. Now in Evernote, you're going to be able to use tons of different features, different functionalities to actually create notes. But right now, what we want to do is focus on, will Scribble work with this application? Starting in this new notepad, this new notebook, we're going to actually start drawing and writing and see if these, these letters actually can pick up and change over the text. So as we can see, Scribble is actually working uh, with this application. So I'm not quite sure if Scribble is gonna use all those, take advantage of all of the different features that it can in, in do in actual notes or Apple specific applications. But this is what we're gonna do. 
get rid of man. Okay. And it seems like there's a little bit of, let's see. Yeah, it seems like there may be a little glitchy something going on right here, just because when I'm actually writing and trying to separate the words or get rid of the words or select the words, it's not actually picking up like it should be, but it will actually change your handwriting into text, which is a big deal because Evernote is probably one of the biggest things that college students, high school students, even business professionals use to actually take notes and keep up with notebooks. So I think that this is gonna be one to keep your eyes on. And I think that probably in the future when we get a real iOS 14 available, this thing will work perfectly. So the actual next application I wanna talk about is Notability, because this one is a huge one to a lot of people. Now with Notability, you're gonna be able to do the same thing, taking notes, uh, making drawings, do sketches, things of that nature, but we wanna make sure that Scribble is going to work. So let's go to the notepad and we are just, okay, the Scribble icon came up and it doesn't, let you write any letters, but let's see. Let's make this text box bigger. So the letters will actually pick up in those boxes, but nothing else happens. You're not gonna be able to uh, write, handwrite to text in Notability, just not right now. And I'm probably banking on when the actual real deal comes out, we'll have more features in more of these applications such as Evernote, such as Notability, also such as Microsoft Word. So guys, this has been it. Uh, a few of the apps that we just talked about, we're working with Notes, and we did come across that the third-party stylus device such as your Logitech Crayon will work with Scribble, but we use Notes, we use Microsoft Word, we also use Notability and Evernote. And we found out that Microsoft Word is not really working with this, uh, Notability is not really working with it, but Evernote shows a little bit of promise because we were able to get those different letters from the handwriting over to text. It's still just a little glitchy though, but Hopefully when the full iOS 14 comes out, we will have all of this stuff rectified. They got plenty of time. It's not out until September. So hopefully this will do us justice in the future. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Um, I use all these applications um, sporadically. Like I use Evernote from time to time. I use Notability from time to time. Microsoft Word I'm using almost every day. But what I want you guys to know is that I am an avid user of these and I'm, I'm personally waiting for all of this stuff to be worked out in this new operating system update so I can take full advantage of it myself. But until then, hopefully I can keep making videos for you guys, helping you guys out as you help me out. And hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Make sure you go by and check out my official website, www.averagetechguide.com. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.